Hello everyone. You might have seen the leaves of a plant being moved by the wind. You may also have seen the ocean waves hitting the shore with great force and sound. Then you may also have seen people warming their bodies in the sun during winters. So all these things, wind, ocean and the sun are sources of energy and we need energy for all our daily needs. We need chemical energy for cooking our food, then we need chemical energy for our vehicles and we need electrical energy for running all our electrical appliances. So for all these requirements, we need a source that could fulfill our requirements. Now this source can be any one of the following sources. The fossil fuels, the wind, the water, the sun, the biomass, the ocean or the earth. Now the problem arises that when to use which source. That is that on what criteria do, do we decide that which source is better for a certain purpose. So let's try to find out the conditions on which we decide that which source is better for us. Now suppose you have to cook your food and then you have to select for a source. Now what will happen if the source you had selected either produces a large amount of heat or it produces very low amount of heat. Now if it produces a large amount of heat, the food will get burned. And if it produces very low amount of heat, it would take hours for the food to get cooked. So a first criteria says that we should select a source that delivers energy at a required rate. Suppose you are very lucky that day and you easily find out the source which provides right amount of energy for cooking. But on the other hand, it also produces a lot of amount of pollution. Now suppose that you are cooking the food on coal. So it gives too much smoke while burning plus it also produces a lot amount of ash. So would you use coal for cooking the food? Obviously you will be searching for an alternative for this source. So a second criteria is that the source should produce less amount of pollution. Now keeping in mind the above two criteria, suppose you decide that you will select hydrogen for cooking the food. It produces a large amount of heat while burning and it produces no smoke while burning. It produces the steam which causes no pollution. So it easily satisfies uh, above two criteria. So will you be able to use hydrogen as a fuel to cook your food? No. First of all, the availability of hydrogen is not there. And the second most thing is that we can't store hydrogen very easily because it is very dangerous to store hydrogen as it explodes while burning. So a third criteria says that the fuel should be easily available and it should be easy to store. Now suppose you get very lucky that day and you easily find out a fuel that satisfies all the three criteria. It gives the right amount of energy while burning, it causes no pollution and it is also easily available and easy to store. But what if it is very costly? Let's say you have to pay rupees 1000 only for the fuel. So would you be using the same fuel to cook the food? Obviously you would be looking for alternatives to this fuel. You would not be paying rupees 1000 only for the fuel to cook the food. So a fourth criteria is that the fuel should be economical or we can say that it should be available at an affordable cost. So keeping in mind all these criteria, we decide that which source is better for us for doing a certain work. Now in a later videos, we'll be seeing the different sources and we'll be learning about those sources and how do we utilize those sources for our needs.